Now, you want to talk about hard times? Let me paint this picture for you. This is what we've been talking about this week on the broadcast. We find this in the 17th chapter of the book of 1 Kings. Elijah the Tishbite, the, the great prophet of God, living during the days of the wicked king Ahab had made the decree, it's not going to rain for three and a half years. There's not even going to be any dew. And uh, people are suffering. People are, are in despair. And, and impending death and doom is all across the land. And uh, God has intentionally brought a little discomfort into the prophet's life. <laughs> the brook dried up, the brook chair, that whenever, when nobody else in, in, in all of Israel had any water, here was Elijah just enjoying his little brook, but it dried up. And God said to Elijah, he says, uh, go to Zarephath. I have commanded a widow woman there to sustain you. I talked about this yesterday. I said, that didn't uh, come across to me when I first read that as something that I would look to with great confidence. But see, God had prepared this because he said, I have commanded her. I've already made it possible. And so the prophet goes to Zarephath. And as I said, the cloud just hung over the city. Everybody was desperate. And as he goes into the gates of the city, guess who the first person he meets is? That's right. A widow woman. It doesn't give us her name. It just says she's a widow woman. And she's there at the near the gates of the city, and she's picking up a couple sticks. And she's already pronounced her own doom into her own life because uh, she said that I'm going to take these two sticks and I'm going to go to the house and I'm going to build a little fire and I'm going to take a little bit of meal that I have left in my meal barrel. I'm going to take that little bit of oil that I've got left and I'm going to make this little cake and then me and my son are going to sit down and eat it and then we're going to starve to death. That was her pronouncement of, of doom and gloom. That was her hope. And so when Elijah comes into the city and he, and he says to the woman, he says, uh, fetch me a little water. Now, listen to this. I mean, the church, <laughs> let, me, let me get your attention for a moment. We got a drought going on. It hasn't rained in, in, in a long time. There's not even been any dew. And he says to her, fetch me a little water. He might have well, as well have said, just go find all the gold in the world and just bring it and lay it at my feet because it would be about the same value. But nevertheless, you see, God was preparing the way. She's obedient. And, and she's on her way to go find some water somewhere to bring to the prophet. And he says, oh, by the way, while you're going, make me a little cake. Now, you talk about arrogance now. That's the word of God coming from the man of God. Because you see, God has already made the way. And that's what we have to learn from this is that God has already made the way. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.